In today's video, I'm going to show you some money saving tips and some time saving tips. I know that at Christmas time we're all rushed. We have this long list of things to do and so many festivities, so many things to prepare for, gifts to buy. The UPS man is delivering Christmas presents. We love to shop online and get the boxes delivered right to the house. Makes life so much easier because I hate shopping. What to get and packaging, mailing, or maybe you're making gifts. I like to make gifts too, but I don't have time to make gifts for everybody because my list of people to give to has grown. So I hope that the tips that I share today will be very useful to you. I'm going to show you how you can use wrapping paper as a cheap material for making cards, believe it or not, and how to use up your scraps, and about recycling materials. Have you ever thought about using leftover wrapping paper? I mean, when you wrap gifts, you have all these leftover odds and end pieces. So I'm going to start cutting these into one inch strips and let's see what we could do with wrapping paper. There's a money saving idea for you. Most wrapping paper today is marked with a grid so you can easily cut one inch squares with a pair of scissors. A long pair of scissors is best. Even better, if you have a paper cutter you can make quick work of cutting the strips. I had almost decided to not make or send out any Christmas cards this year because I was feeling overwhelmed, struggling to get everything done. This but then I was receiving cards with personal notes in the mail from our long distance friends. I began to think, oh, they deserve to receive a card back from me. I did, however, cut my list to only friends and family that live far away, which cut my list down to a third. Earlier in the year, January, as a matter of fact, I started my design for Christmas cards. I had intended to work on them early and be done with, with them long before Christmas got around here. But so many other things time sensitive got in the way, so that plan got put aside. Those cards are going to be awesome, but very time consuming, so I needed a much simpler design. I'm using recycled paper. <laughs> you see, I have notes here. Um, this is recycled before. This is a script for a video. And these are other notes where I was doing some budgeting and planning. <laughs> I'm always recycling. Now, the paper is being recycled for a third time. And this time it's going to be permanent because it's going to be part of a Christmas card. This is one of my favorite uh, uses of scraps. Some of these are scraps and some of them are new. I wanted to get rid of some of my old scraps. And I also have wallpaper. Wallpaper right there. It's got a little silver shine in it. And it's always a good idea to start with like a T. And when if you start in one corner, don't end up in the other. This It ends over here not the corner directly. And let's see, I'm kind of sticking with traditional colors, although I do want a little bit of black in this card because there's black in this plaid. Oh, this little piece might fit. Oh, perfect, perfect.
and I could probably find a little scrap. Oh, I should probably back out so you can see the mess. These are scraps. Here's a little triangle. I could fit that in that space. Okay, we need some more red. We can't stop there since we've put black. Let's do that. The paper is double-sided. Double-sided papers gives you so many options. Red and black and white and green. So there's basically four colors. I want some more of this. Probably another piece. A little scrap I could use. Yeah, I can make that work. That way that's repeated. That's repeated. The same color, they're just different prints. And the plaid is rep repeated. Don't want to put that. That's too much. Maybe a little more green. But not going the same direction because I already got two going that way. So I want this to go a different direction. Okay, uh, let's see. We could put a little bit more black going a different direction. Sure, that'll work. This is wallpaper. This type of background is really fun. Um, I just enjoy it. It's, it's a great way to mix up the colors, um, using up scraps. Now this paper is one quarter of a regular typing sheet and it's a little bit bigger than I want. So I will be cutting them down to size. And let me show you the cutting process. I know my edges are a little rough and I want to straighten them up a bit. So I pick a side. Okay, there's this little white triangle. There's nothing there, so I'm gonna cut that off. So I'll I'll cut that off and we'll give it a nice straight edge. Now that I got a straight edge, I want to, now here there's a tiny little green corner. I'm going to try to preserve that. So let's see how much we can keep of that. I don't want to make that any smaller. So I'll just straighten that out. I know that I need my card uh, based. Actually, I got to straighten that side. Um... Okay, if I put that right on four, that'll cut off part of this triangle. Actually, yeah, I'll do that. I need it four inches wide. Now I got three straight edges. This is a rough edge. I need five and a quarter. Okay, so now I've got it the exact size that I need, and my edges are nice and straight. And that's how I prepare a card base using recycled papers and I've mixed um, papers you know scrap of papers because these a lot of these came from 12 by 12 sheets and wallpapers just because I, I really like that print and that in the black just you know goes nice with my base I have to decide do I want it on a white background a black background a green or a red. Red looks very nice. The green might be a little bit overpowering because of the green, but it's not too bad. White would look very nice. Kind of brings out the white. Black. Okay, I think I'm going to use black for that one. And so that with each one, I have to decide, you know, what color. I've decided green would be good because there's a lot of red and more red than green, so a green background would be good for that one. And uh, this one has a lot of green, so I thought red would look really good for a background on that one. When I have all my card bases made, then I sort them those that I think would look good on white background, green background, red background, or black background. I sorted them into piles. And then, now I have three basic designs. The theme of my cards this year is the nativity. So, we have a nativity here. 
we have a nativity here, and we have a nativity here. When I first started off, I was working on these designs with the, the backgrounds where we combine one inch strips of paper. And I wanted to do this, but I was concerned how too time consuming to cut this out. So I, I went to an easier option. I found this card was a lot faster to make. Yeah, all of them have some wallpapers in them. And some of them have old papers, some have new papers, that's an old paper. And I'm using up my scraps because my goal this year has been to not add to my scrap pile, which I have done very well. When I first started doing them, I started cutting out this little frame, which I really, really love because I have done this with black and white using wallpapers mixing with my papers. And I really like this frame cutout. I have these two taped together permanently. Well, it's not permanent, but I keep it that way because this is the size that I need to make that little cutout. So I roll it under my die cut and then I separate the parts, which means I'm going to have this leftover frame, which I could do something with those frames. I have several of them. I could do something with those as another card, but right now I have no inspiration. I will think of a use for these later. They'll go in a bag to be used for another project. Decide which is up and down because we don't want the tree upside down. As I was working this design concept, which is fun for me and so satisfying to make, I've used this design plan before. I thought I could use up some old Christmas papers as well as combine with new papers and include some wallpapers because I like to try new things. And that's how we do that design. I just need to make another one of these to fit. This one I had previously cut out and I colored those but I don't like it. So I think it just looks better to keep it plain. So from my scrap box where I have wider pieces of scraps, I picked out ones that would fit my stamp because I'm always trying to use up my scraps. So I have stamped these and now I am going to cut them out with this. Who that one looks, oh dear. Well, it might not work. I may have to modify it. Oh shoot, I thought it would work. This one will work. Well, we shall okay. see. It kind of worked. I'm going to have to modify this one. That'll work. These almost worked. It's slightly flat. I can just trim it up a bit and we'll make it work. I like to use up my scraps. Okay, that's pretty close. Using the same color ink, I want to just give a little dark edge. Just kind of give it a little bit of contrast so it pops off the page better. Just kind of run the brush side of the marker on and see that it gives it a stronger contrast. I don't know if you can tell the difference. You know, you have to play. You have to try different things. But these are the cards that I made of this design. So I started cutting them out, but then I, when I was looking to figure out what can fit in within that frame, I was limited to only this. And I wanted to use that stamp and that fits this cutout so that works. So I says okay well that's kind of limiting um, but I want to try something else. I have this die cut that I got off of Amazon and I thought "Ooh, that would be really cool to put on a background and it worked really good for this one where I just have reds and greens, it's pretty dark background, good contrast. I did a couple of those. Uh, this one has a 
a bit of white it's kind of an off white and it doesn't look too bad but this looks better because all the papers are dark light against dark this one the background's a little too busy I mean it looks okay but it it doesn't really work this is, it has to have no whites and solid background so that's another way I sorted the cards and I thought this would be really easy you know nice background put that on there but putting the this is a, a detailed die and it's not so easy to get all those little pieces picked out after oh that's a little bit time consuming I'm really running out of time I feel the pressure you know Christmas pressure to get my Christmas cards done but I have all this other stuff to do I don't want to take the time to do these so I only made three of those and I decided I could do this but let me try something else let me stop doing this cutout and see if I could come up with something else well then I do have this cutout for an ornament and I have a stamp for the nativity here's the whole stamp and this is the ornament that seemed to fit the best so it's not going to be straight up this way but I want at least its head in there so I kind of tip it that way and, and that'll be fine because it'll just look like he's leaning over at looking at the Christ child and then I cut it out with my die cut and I look through my scrap bin and I find a piece of paper with the uh, right color glue it on and then I fussy cut the image out I just want a little tiny edge best way to cut is your left hand does all the work your cutting hand just stays steady and your other hand turns the paper that's how you get a smooth cut. That's slightly narrow at the top. This is what I do with my scraps. I square them off and then they go and then they go in one of these slots. And this is like the first place I grab when I need a small piece of paper. This die came from the Delicate Ornament Ornaments Thinlets. Now you could use whatever you have that works. Um, I, this one was too thin, that's too small, but this one I could make it work. But you could use whatever ornament die you have. I just used the outside part, ignoring those yeah. for the little part. I have this bag of gold pieces. This is why I save the leftovers. Can I get one more right there to cut three more out? So now I'm going to call this spent and I'm going to toss that in the trash. This is why I save scraps. So I m made a bunch of these because I want the nativity everywhere. This I had to em use embossing because it's such a dark folder. So I've got three basic designs but the message is the same. It's joy to the world, a savior is born. And I have nativity one way or another. So these are my three designs. But this one's too time consuming, so I'm not making any more of those. I can do some of these, and I can do some of these because they're a lot faster, a lot easier to do. So that's what I'm doing with my cards. It's about saving time and trying to get it done trying to keep up with the Christmas activities, which sometimes is very challenging. I then thought of using wrapping paper, so I had to go with that for a little while. My desk is getting messier. <laughs> That's what usually happens when the creative spirit takes over. Have you ever thought about using leftover wrapping paper? I bet you could do the same thing with those. I'm going to show you how I have done that. Here's a 
a card base made similar to the other cards, completely out of wrapping paper on a piece of thin typing paper. You think if wrapping paper is thin and it rips easy. Yeah, but you're gluing it to another piece of paper. So it actually makes a pretty decent, pretty decent paper. I played around. I don't like this one. It's a little bit too busy for me. Um, this one is okay. It's limited to only three papers. This one, this one, and that one. And that made a pretty good um, card front. I'm going to be using these cards. So I kept all the strips in the bag that are coordinate together to make. And I'm just going to store that away for another day because I don't want to work on them today. I played around with this wild paper, which is a lot harder to deal with. And I came up with these designs. This is a little too uh, a little too bold. I don't really like that light green. Too many stripes. Uh, it's, it's a little crazy. Maybe it uh, looks like candy. Maybe it looks like fun. Maybe it could be a card for a kid. But uh, yeah. So I put all those colors in a bag and I said, nah. That's not me. But if I want to do something, you know, a fun card for a kid, maybe I will have that available some of the time. All right, these papers, I had fun with this one. I really enjoyed. This has got uh, wrapping paper. That's a wrapping paper. And these are scraps left over from a project I did a long, long time ago. I absolutely loved these cards. These, I like the colors, they're more muted. And this kind of makes me think an old-fashioned Christmas. It's, it's very nostalgic, the style of these letters and uh, the, the yellowish paper. And I really like this wrapping paper. It kind of looks like plaid. It looks like fabric. And I think that added a nice touch. And then these paisley designs. This is wallpaper here. Because I just wanted to use that one up. And, and I thought, oh, you know what? This would be good with an old-fashioned car. Or maybe a nutcracker or tin soldier or something nostalgic so I really like these but I'm not using them this year so I just put all the papers in the bag so I could make more on another day I really enjoyed making those cards when when it pleases you when when the what you're making pleases you you have fun in you just go to town. I think I made eight of those fronts. So, But I'm going to put that away for another day. I want to show you one more. I had a bunch of silver and blue and some glitter paper. And this kind of makes you think of snow, snow and ice. These papers have um, a, a print on the other side and they have silver on this side. So on the other side of this is, is silver, on the other side of that is silver. And so I thought that looks really nice. I haven't decided how I'm going to use it, but it's not the theme of my cards for this year. Here's another one. It's got snowy pictures and lots of silver. And this one I decided to use just white and silver on a white card base. And this is wallpaper. And these are specialty papers. This has got like a velvety touch. They're so cool. So these are really pretty and really nice. They could be a winter card or it could be a Christmas card or if somebody has a birthday in the winter or an anniversary. I don't, haven't decided what I'm gonna do with these yet, but I have lots of silver and blue papers and snowy papers that if I, when I feel like it, I can make more of those type of cards. So I'm just going to put those away for another day. 
to play. How many cards did I make today? I've just been throwing them in here. Those are made previously. These are made today. I've made 24 cards. Pretty good. They didn't take me as long as I thought it would. But since I already had sort of an idea of a plan for a nativity theme Christmas card, I abandoned using the wrapping papers and I did not complete those cards. But it did give me some inspiring ideas for a future Christmas. So don't throw away those cut off end pieces of your wrapping paper because you can recycle them and make greeting card bases out of them. I hope the content of this video was helpful to you. It's okay to change your plans. It's okay to simplify your plans and trim your list if necessary. The important thing is not to lose focus on the true meaning of Christmas and communicate that with your family. If you are fortunate to be around family for Christmas, try to be in the moment and make those special memories. Focus on the people and building or maintaining those relationships. There may be things left undone. The house doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to put up all the Christmas decorations. Do what you can and don't try to overdo, which is something that I continually need to work on. I always make such big plans, but struggle to get it all done in time. Keep your priorities right. What doesn't get done was not necessary anyhow. It's the people in your life that really matters. I wish you and yours a very Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. You mean I wasn't recording? Oh, I'm so mad at myself. How many times have I done that today? Well, you totally missed it. I gotta do another one just to show you. Rats.